spouting. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to Wild Seas. Today we're fishing on Phil's boat and we're going to go wreck fishing offshore. So we're going to get our head right out offshore, out into the depths. We're going to be fishing at least 200 foot and we've been carefully watching the weather all week. Uh, when you come out quite far, we need reasonable conditions to do it in. If it's too rough, it's quite uncomfortable and it's not enjoyable. You're not fishing properly. But yeah, we've been watching the weather. It's been a little breezy on the forecast, but in the last day it's, it's come good and we've just blasted out here. And it's all right, there's a bit of a breeze, but we're gonna give it a go. Fishing over wrecks, gonna be starting off on slack water, so not too much flow over the wrecks. We're gonna be drifting very slowly over them perfect time to work slow jigs over the wreck and as time goes on during the day the tide's going to start kicking into the ebb so the tide's, tide's going to be going out and the flow's going to be picking up and we're going to switch from working jigs because they'll become less effective as the drift picks up to working Portland rigs so these are weighted rigs where we can uh, work a lure over the wreck and they fish much more effectively when the tide picks up and we're, the boat's moving a lot faster. So we're out here, we're going to give it a go, we're hoping for some pollock, we might get some ling, and we'll see what else is sniffing around the wrecks. But let's get our lures down and see what we can pull up. Let's go. Fish nugs, OG in psycho colour, mental jig. Look at the shine and shimmer on that. Beautiful. Flip it over and you've got to glow back. Let's go get straight down to the wreck. See what we can nail on that. It, at the minute, I've started on the bottom, and just flicking it up half a reel turn at a time. But lifting, what, six foot through the water column with each drop. It's just fluttering back down. It's slowly being worked up through the water column as I go. Hopefully find the fish. I'm bringing it up maybe 30, 40 foot off bottom and then dropping it back down and starting again. At the moment we're fishing over slack water. So there's not a lot of movement. We're sitting on the wreck for quite a long time. So luckily the jig's going pretty much straight down. It's just working slightly off the back of the boat we've got a little bit of wind pushing us along here but it's perfect conditions for slow jigging because the line's vertical and that jig can work at its best we're bringing it straight up and it's just fluttering back down straight up fluttering back down if you've got too much drift the boat's pushing away your jig's ending back in the water it's right off the back of the boat you've got a really steep angle on the line and you're not getting that same action you're pulling it along the bottom here we go that's a fish. Oh, that's ruining me. That's ruining me. As I was saying, works best when you can keep the line vertical. This fish has nailed it. Oh, shaking his head. What we got? Oh, it looks like a ling. Yeah, another ling. Come on, boys. Nope, Pollock. Oh, nice. It's very golden in the water, but yeah, it's a lovely Pollock. It's a black mark on him, on the back, big black mark. Lovely Pollock, nailed the slow jig, fish nugs OG. Yeah, it's working it just off the bottom, absolutely nailed it. These guys are hunting over the wreck, looking for launts and small bait fish. Yeah, he couldn't resist that slow jig, he's just nailed it. Ah, it's an all right Pollock, maybe five pound, six pound, but good fight on the rod. Just using a light jigging rod. It's great fun. Fish straight away. Just as opposed to the rod. Instant. Fish on, Sam. Yeah, boy. First drop for me. Hit it either on the way down or as it hit the bottom, I don't know, but beasting on the bottom. Hey. First drop, lovely. He's shaking his head the whole way up. 
bit of huge pout. Whoa. Oh, it's gone under the boat. It's a ling a ding! Ling a ding! Such a ton out of you. He's up pretty well, I'll just lift him. Yay! That's that's first that. drop. First drop on the OG as well. What it is, it's not fighting a lot, but. We got in there, Phil. We got Not pout. big. Is it a nice pout? It, it very well could be. Why? <laughs> but it's a fish. Oh! Pout. Yeah. Oh, it's a classic. It's a classic pout. Come on, let's see it then, Phil. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I'll tell you what, you couldn't make it up, could you? Foul it's pouting. That's the sign of a real angler. There we go. First drop for me on the OG in Nightmare. Whee! Put up a wicked scrap. I think as soon as it hit the bottom, actually, he just picked it up straight away. Such a good scrap with these Ling. They're so much fun to catch. But yeah, not bad. Not very big. Probably four or five pound, something like that. But such a good scrap on a lovely day. Look at the gnashes on it. Woo! Oh, yeah. It's nailed it right near the bottom. It's got to be a ling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Oh, I got a feeling it could be a ling. Hit it right close to the bottom. A lot of heavyweight to start as it tried to dive back in the wreck. I just managed to hang on, hold on, eventually turned its head. Now I'm working it back up. Yeah, good fun. Good fun on this light rod. Pen conflict jigging, 200 gram jigging rod. And it just bends and bends. Whoa. I think it could be a link. Yeah, yeah it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, you get that net, Phil. You'll get, yeah, I'll get the net. Whatever it's come. Oh, a lot of head shakes. Linger, linger. Be alright, wouldn't it? Yeah. See colour. Dinger. Yeah, oh, she's a dingling <laughs> in the net. Go on, Phil. You got him. Lovely. Oh, Beauty, look at that. Hey. Oh, Whoa! <laughs> now we'll give everybody a shower. Hey. We're going nowhere now. Nice little ling. Nailed that jig. Mental fight again. Yeah, good fun. Good fun. Hit it right close to the bottom. These guys are hunting around quite close to the wreck. Looking for little bait fish to nail. And when we're working these slow jigs just over the wreck, they can't resist just nailing it oh. Beautiful. awesome good fun yeah let's see if we get a bigger one okay, we're back on the wreck a few fish showing let's get on them let's do it working laws over the reef using a portland rig and we're using it on a six to twelve pound rod it's a pen regiment free solid carbon rod um paired up with a fathom to leave a drag size 10 lovely little reel nice and easy light to hold easy to work we're going to be holding this for most of the day so you want a nice light rod to work with um, and yeah the portland rig my reel is loaded up with braid i've got a mono leader 40 pound mono leader and to that this is the the main of the portland rig the main rig body so what we've got is we've got two swivels two little swivels there either where my thumbs are between them is trapped a sliding swivel on a short length of line. I've got three beads below the swivel, one bead above. It doesn't have to be that combination, but I like that. But as long as you've got at least a bead either side um, and below the bottom swivel, we've got a weaker piece of line. This is a 20 pound piece of line. I've tied a couple of little knots in there. And yeah, this is a weak link leading to the lead. So should my leg get snagged in the wreck, got a good chance of snapping this line or at least at the knots before I lose the rest of my rig. So I can bounce this on the wreck or drop it into the wreck and then pull it back out the wreck. Even if it does snag, I've got a good chance of getting my rig back. 
Um, it doesn't happen too often, but it's a bit of a, a bit of a backup. And off that central swivel, the one that can slide between the two other swivels, got a at least 12 foot leader, and that's a 25 pound leader trace leading to my law. My law today is a Sidewinder Skerries sand eel. Yeah, it mimics a, a little sand eel. It's going to be swimming up over the wreck, working over the wreck, lovely action on it, little paddle tail on it, kicking side to side. And the fish are down there, they're hunting things just like this. So if I'm working this over the wreck, hopefully they'll come along and nail it. Let's go. I'm winding the law maybe 30 turns off the bottom, which is probably about 40 foot, 50 foot off the bottom, and then dropping it back down. Uh, and keep repeating that process until the fish comes along or we've gone past the wreck and we need to wind up and restart the drift. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> go on then. Oh. Woohoo. Come on. Feels like Pollock's nailed it. Oi. He's trying to dive back down. Pulling a bit of line out. Just what we want. Great fun. I'm on a six to 12 pound pen regiment free solid carbon rod. Lovely action on it. They bend and bend and bend. Really sensitive in the tip for working the laws, feeling the little pecks and nibbles from the fish. But they'll handle big fish too. They'll bend right through to the butt. You can put pressure on big fish if you need to turn them away from the wreck. And yeah, just great fun. Bends, look at the bend. It's what we're here for. It's what we're here for. Great fun. And I've got a different method. What I've got on, I've got giant hawk eyes on and uh, I've just baited them up. Like Liam said, a bit of old school really. Yeah. Uh, but it was good. I've had, uh, I've had some good knocks on them. Have you caught anything, Phil? Yeah, I caught, a, I found lots of whiting. <laughs> no pouting. I'm pouting. Yeah. Yeah. I think Have I'll you do the caught hook. anything big yet, Liam? Because I don't seem to be using net a lot today. Well, you'll need it in a minute. No. no. <laughs> do you know why? Because I think you've got me. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't oh, surprise yeah. Here we go, I can see colour. We got a fish coming up. It's a nice pollock. Lovely. Ah, a bit of a better one. Lovely. Okay, nice wreck pollock. Nailed that, scaries. Mimics a little sand eel. That's what these guys are feeding on. Yeah, he's just hammered it. Give me a great little fight. Lovely. Probably about eight pound, maybe. Quite it, fat. Yeah, it's quite a fat fish. Been feeding well. Yeah, quality fish, and it'll make a nice bit of supper too. Hey, Phil. What happened to that budgie you had? Well, my budgie, don't mention that. Why? I would, well, I would right broke about that one. You know I love my budgie. Joey, we, Joey we're called. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what it did, it, it fell out cage and took bottom at cage and broke its leg. Oh. So, instead of taking it to the vets, I just thought, well, what I'll do, I'll just put some splinters on it, on its leg. But I used matchsticks, which oh. I thought were ideal. Yeah? Really? Hey, you should have seen its first light up when he started to walk. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish on <aren't> it. <laughs> hey, here's little face lit up. <laughs> yeah. I wish someone had light up and jump at the end of my hook. <laughs> You yeah, could make it up, Sam, honestly. No. Hey? Is it that time again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Quick catch of a fish. Yeah. Don't get me belly on, Sam. The camera not on one Oh, oh. Get out. Yeah. Oh, it was just a li little touch, a little tap. Just teasing me. She'll come back. 
She'll come back. She'll come back. Go on then. Way! Come how, on. How does it happen, Sam? We use <laughs> exactly the same method. Same length of lead. Same scary sea. And he's fishing right outside of me. And he gets one. Oh, oh. Tell you what. Angle in the dangle, Phil. Angle dangle. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. this. I'm sure he's wiping some of on this sand here, this, this lure. He's doing some of it, putting some like this jam on it or something. <laughs> Lovely. Phil's in. Oh, oh. oh let's see. Oh. I hope you haven't got my fish on. Oh, this is nice. Lovely. Yeah, it might be the last one. Well, he's got to savour it for the next 250 foot. I think Liam's caught them all. I'll be mad if it's a pouting. <laughs> uh, I won't care, it's a fish. Doesn't matter. I think even seagulls laughing at me. <laughs> It's hey. only a small one, isn't it? But hey, it's a fish. See how my personal net you got it in for me? I didn't even need the net. Oh, he's hooked well, right in the beak. Have a couple of pollock. There you go, boys. They're down there, they're feeding. We're having some fun. Lovely. But Liam made me swap fish, that's mine really, the biggest one. You can't manage much more than that. Hey, you don't need a lot of chips with it. <laughs> Sam, it's not about catching it, fish. What is it about then? Yeah. Yeah, oh, oh, go on Phil. Yeah, you're on. Yes. No! You, you told me to do no! that and I, he did that on purpose. <laughs> He'll come back, he'll come back. When, next week? <laughs> Just see how we did that, Sam. <laughs> There's no need for it, is there? Led him down a path. Left him high and dry. Drop it back down. Oh, oh. Hey! Yeah, we're on it. Come on. Come on. I then. just wish I got it in 20 foot of water. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Steaming, yeah. Bit of weight, yeah? Here we go. I've got some up. Whoa, what we got? Nice fish. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's a nice one. Another nice one. Look at that. Yeah. Possibly a bit bigger than the last. Phil's coming up, see his colour. Look at the size of it. <laughs> hey? We need a funny thing. That, just... I'll tell you what that is. That's like in, at Francine's in Newquay. That's an OAP fish and chip. <laughs> is that? <laughs> Get the size of that. Oh no. No, you take it mick now. <laughs> You're having a laugh. I know what one I'd rather catch. Tell you what, Phil. You've done well there. Yeah, cheers mate. Thanks a lot, Liam. Look, you caught it on your new lure as well. Just what you wanted yeah, to be. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that, it's on. Look at it. Yes, true. Liam, will you put Lofty on for me? Oh, another fine, hard fighting Pollock. You may have noticed I've changed my law. Gone to a happy eel. It's a bit longer, a little bit bigger, so to attract slightly bigger fish. Um, and it's yeah, luminous yellow and orange. Stands out really well down in the depths. And this one has no trouble spotting it. Another nice Pollock off the wreck. Here we go, this took it right up bottom. Just let it hit the bottom. 
and about four turns up, then it hit it. And it's just a long way to bring them up, isn't it? Yeah, it's coming. Ah. Well, it's not that big, but put a bend in the rod, and it's another one. Nice one. To the boat. Yeah. Even I Beautiful, get, isn't even it? I get to hold it up. Yeah, you hold it up, mate. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely a bit of structure there. 208, 210. Not bad. A bit easier than the last record. Yeah, just get right over the pin a little bit. Yeah. See what she looks like. It looks like little, they're little bits of fish here, like little sacks yeah. of it. So, we're now trying a different wreck. We've been fishing this one wreck for most of the day, and the fishing's been on fire, to be honest. We've had fish every single drift over the wreck. Pollock to 10 pounds and plenty of Pollock. A few nice ling as well. But yeah, it's getting towards the end of the day and we thought we'd just try another wreck on our way in. We'll see how we get on here. Oh, you're into a fish, Sam. Yeah, boy. Absolutely smashed my jig right on the bottom. Gave me absolute beans right down there. Oh, <laughs> you. Oh. Who's into a fish? Oh, double look up. Yes, Phil. On the lings. Oh, oh no. Who's no. has gone? Samsonin. That would be. Oh, that would have been good. Oh. I'll make in this deep water. Here he is. It's the ding a linger. Sean. Way. Oh, that fish absolutely hammered me on the bottom. Real good run. Wow. Absolutely belted it. Get me a proper swell. Oh. Horsin. Oh. As I drop the jig back. My line didn't didn't move. It just stayed on the surface, all curled up. Mm. Smashed it as it was dropping. Tightened up to him, and he went absolutely mental. Oh! Yes. I'm there it on. comes. Yes, colour. Pollock. No. Nice Pollock. Nice Pollock. Yeah. Over with that, Sam. Yes, nice. Phil. In the net, son. Well, that's a nice that. That's good. <laughs> nice pollock. Look at that. Lovely wreck pollock on the jig. I thought it was a ling, actually. It went absolutely ballistic. It picked up the jig on the drop. I noticed all the line was all coiled up on the surface, and when I tightened up to him, he went mental. But yeah, I thought he was a ling. Was banging his head and diving and crashing around. The whole way up as well. Usually Pollock give up. This guy didn't. Yeah, beauty. My best one of the day. Well, I've only had a few, but. Yeah, well done, Sam. That jig doing the damage again. Done well today. Yeah, beauty that. Beauty. Yeah, what's going on? Well, the mackerel flapper drifting over the wreck wasn't quite doing the business, so dropped a jig down. Bang. Sam had a couple of little ling. Now I've looked into some of it. it. Feels like there's a bit of weight there. Ooh. A lot of head shaking. Looked it very close to the bottom, so good chance it's a ling. It's funny, wasn't it? Come back yeah. two or three times for it. Yeah, I whacked the lure a few times and thought I'd hooked up, but I think it just got the jig wedged in its mouth and I pulled it out. And then bang, it went on straight away again. But it seems to be hooked up proper this time. 
Light horse and whip. Light horse and whip. Oh yes. Oh. Yes. Here he comes. Fills in with the net. Fill the net. Fill the net, Phil. I'll fill the net in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Bit of weight to it. Yeah. Lunging a lot. Nice one? Yeah, oh yeah. Right. Around the line. Oh. Back door. Back door, Phil. Fill the net. Uh, that's it, you got him. Fill the net. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's better. about maybe 10 pounds but great scrap on the light rod yeah these guys really go well but that's what we're here for nailed that fish nugs og slow jig that's in the sardine queen color so guys that's just a bait fish down there they're just gonna hammer it yeah nice fish good fun right guys that's us done for the day but out wreck fishing all day. We fished, I think three different wrecks, found fish on all of them. And yeah, we've had some mega sports to be fair. Uh, all, well, must be a fish every single drift for sure. Uh, so we can't complain. We've had loads of pollock, we've had a few ling too, and a few other little bits and bobs. Nothing massive, we've had pollock to about 10 pound. Still a nice fish and ling to about 10 pound as well. But plenty of fun, especially on the light rods. Uh, we've got plenty of fish for the table, so we're going to crack on. We've got a few fish to fill it, and we hope to see you guys next time. And remember, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and you'll see plenty more of our fishing adventures just like this. And you never know, you may pick up a tip or two along the way that may help you with your own fishing. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.